one rabbit two coming right up. Any last words? Look. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top ten last words of movie characters before their deaths. Oh, people. Oh, people. For this list, we're choosing the most iconic, memorable, or affecting words said by big screen characters before they die. Obviously, a huge spoiler alert is in order. Come with me if you want to live. Number 10, Gunnery Sergeant Hartman, Full Metal Jacket. I am Gunnery Sergeant Hartman, your senior drill instructor. As much as you may hate his guts, you've still gotta hand it to R. Lee Ermey's character. Do you maggots understand that? Even with a loaded machine gun pointed at his midsection, he doesn't hesitate to yell his trademark insults at the clearly deranged private pile. You will place that rifle on the deck at your feet and step back away from it. Death scenes tend to tell the viewer more about a character than any other, and this scene shows us that Hartman is a tough SOB through and through. What is your major malfunction, numbnuts? Didn't mommy and daddy show you enough attention when you were a child? Number 9. Bane, The Dark Knight Rises Bane, let's not stand on ceremony here. Villains always get the best lines. Powerful agents to the uninitiated, but we are initiated. Unfortunately for Tom Hardy's Bane, there's a Catwoman around the corner with a face full of guns. Nevertheless, his final words make you wonder whether his wish for Batman to see the destruction of his beloved Gotham may have caused Bane to pause just long enough for Catwoman to get there. We both know that I have to kill you now. You all just have to imagine the fire. He might not have been the first bad guy to be foiled by his desire for artistry, but he is certainly one of the most memorable. About the whole no guns thing. I'm not sure I feel as strongly about it as you do. Number 8. Oren Ishii, Kill Bill Volume 1. What can you say about a sword sharp enough to cut off the top of someone's head with one swoop? Your instrument is quite impressive. A striking end to one of the most beautiful fight scenes ever put to film. Kill Bill Volume 1's final act illustrates just how powerful Uma Thurman's character has become. This is Hattori Hanzo steel. Usotsuke! Armed with a katana from the world's best sword maker and a heart filled with vengeance, she takes down a member of the Deadly Viper Assassination Squad. Anto? Number 7. Boromir, the Lord of the Rings, the Fellowship of the Ring. As you wish. Sean Bean, we hardly knew ye. Of all the deaths the great English actor has portrayed on screen, his demise as the Steward Prince of Gondor may be his masterpiece. Forgive me. I did not see. A deeply conflicted character, Boromir's final words to Viggo Mortensen's Aragorn seal his fate as a loyal force for good. I would have followed you, my brother. My captain. My king. Number 6. Obi-Wan Kenobi, Star Wars Episode 4, A New Hope. I've been waiting for you, Obi-Wan. We meet again at last. Some of the most memorable lines from one of the most quotable movie franchises of all time. Obi-Wan Kenobi's profound words don't appear to be his last. You can't win, Darth. If you strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. That is, until he spots his young protege and decides to let him witness his death and subsequent disappearance into the ethereal world of the Force. <laughs> Of course, his sage words prove true, as Obi-Wan continues to help Luke mess up Vader's plans for all three installments of the original trilogy. Luke, don't give in to hate. That leads to the dark side. Number 5. The Terminator, Terminator 2, Judgment Day. It has to end here. 
in a sci-fi action franchise known for some of the best one-liners ever. I'll be back. Its seminal second incarnation also features one of the most touching. I know now why you cry, but it's something I can never do. You didn't expect that kind of depth from a shotgun-wielding robot with half a face, did you? What can we say? Schwarzenegger's got range. Number 4. Spock, Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan Spock! Though this phrase was far from new to the Star Trek franchise, Live long and prosper. It takes on a deeper meaning in the second and most beloved film. Ship. Out of danger. Yes. Having entered a radiation chamber to restore the warp drive and save the ship from certain destruction, Spock's repeating of his people's common greeting to his friend and captain becomes a far more profound wish, considering he had just given his own life so that others could go on. Live long and prosper. Meanwhile, when Star Trek Into Darkness reinvented this scene in 2013, it was Kirk who was put behind the glass for an equally stirring goodbye. Number 3. The Wicked Witch of the West, The Wizard of Oz well, ring around the rosy, a pocket full of Maybe the most famous death scene of all time, The Wicked Witch of the West's demise is truly one for the ages. Margaret Hamilton crafted the villainous character so well in The Wizard of Oz that you almost want to root for her. How about little fire, scarecrow? But in the end, it's just too much fun watching her melt. You cursed rat! Number two, Charles Foster Kane, Citizen Kane. Rosebud. The film that would change cinema forever was astounding from the very first word. What were Kane's last words? Do you remember, boys? The phrase, which is spoken just before the death of newspaper tycoon Charles Foster Kane, ties together his epic journey as he grows up, becomes one of the most successful men in the country, and then is met with a shockingly rapid demise. He just said, uh, Rosebud. Then he dropped the glass ball and it broke on the floor. He didn't say anything after that, and I knew he was dead. The actual word isn't as important as what it comes to represent in the Orson Welles drama, the loss of innocence at the hands of the American dream. If I hadn't been very rich, I might have been a really great man. Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Clever girl. go in against a Sicilian when death is on the line! <laughs> what was it you said to me before? Yippee Kaye, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, William Wallace, Braveheart. I am William Wallace. While we don't know what the real William Wallace's last words were, let's just assume Mel Gibson's triumphantly guttural scream summed them up in this epic historical war drama. After all, Sir Wallace did give his life to the cause of Scottish independence. That they may take our lives, but they'll never take our freedom! Historical inaccuracies aside, it's hard to think of any more fitting or epic last words for this movie hero. Do you agree with our list? What last words made you lose your head? I feel... cold. 
For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Peace. Son of God.